dudes, uh, what is happening? It's uh, Trent Kanuga here, and I've updated my Essential Sketchbook Pro 2017 brush set. As you can see, I got some nicer icons, a little bit easier to read. I've updated a few of these and tweaked a few of them, and I wanted to show you guys the latest. If you've already uh, picked these up on my Gumroad, then just go to your download section and re-download the latest. Uh, let's go through them one by one real quick. Uh, I'm, then I'm going to do a little fancy, little fancy uh, sketch towards the end, showcasing some of the new brushes. So, uh, first up, we've got uh, standard regular pencil. This one is really not any different. I didn't add or change anything distinctly about it, but it gets you a really nice uh, pencil brush kind of a thing going on. The only thing that you probably need to know about that one is that when you barely press, it's very tiny, and the harder you press, the fatter it gets. But it's it's got a softer edge on it, which is kind of nice. Uh, the second one is a variation on that. So let's just leave a, a handy stroke there so that we can kind of see what we're looking at. The second one is a variation on that that has a lot more grain to it and gets a lot bigger. So you can see how it kind of creates a nice little uh, granular kind of a pencil mess there, which I love. This one is sort of like a chisel brush, but it's really designed to kind of get a lot of noise. And then it also does, it has a little bit of smudge on it that I've added. And this one's really great for getting that noisy, grainy graphite look. So I use this one a lot lately in some of my more watercolory kind of sketchy paintings. Uh, next up, standard airbrush. We already know what that does. Um, we have the oily, uh, this one's kind of an oily buildup brush, but I, I use it to build up a lot of color. So the lighter you press, so we'll use some actual color here. So the lighter you press, the softer it blends. And then the harder you press, the more opacity it has. Uh, there's no size changing on this. But the nice thing about that is if you start to blend it with like a, another color, you can, um, you can build up on it and then color dab using the alt key in the middle and then you get like nice color blending. And I use that a lot uh, in a lot of my paintings. This one's really close to my square brush from my Photoshop brushes, but I find it actually works a little bit better in, in Sketchbook Pro. Uh, next up, this one has been my favorite lately. It's, uh, it's kind of like an oil brush. And so you'll see it when you barely press, it kind of does a very little line. The harder you press, it gets very brushy and very messy but then it has a little bit of a watercolor uh, smudge to it. So you can kind of get these really neat, um, really neat brush strokes. And, uh, and that kind of gives it a lot more of this watercolory oil brush kind of a look. And I'm gonna show you uh, towards the end, I'm gonna do a little bit of a painting with a combination of a few of these different brushes and show you guys how I work. So uh, next up is a, uh, just a smear tool. This one's great for uh, blending and smearing your colors together to get a softer smudge. This one is a chalk brush, and I didn't change this too much, but it changed a little bit. So this one really gets a lot of noise. Great for laying down some spatters. Uh, great for laying down like some cool like paint noise. And then it also has a little bit of a, a blender on it too. Uh, next up is the one of my cloud brushes. I use this one a lot to get that graphite on kind of noisy textured paper look. So you can already see like some of the noise effects that you can get out of the out of these right here. This one's a pretty standard cloud brush, but it actually makes for a very good uh, watercolory look too. And I'm going to show you guys my watercolor brush later. That is my latest favorite. But this one is really cool for like uh, build up and uh, blending colors together too. I'm going to show you real quick here just some of the things you can do with this. Oh man, yeah. Okay, so that is just noisy, but you start to get in there and, and actually blend, color dab and then blend, and you get a really cool combination of a natural natural oil paint kind of, or acrylic looking blending of paint going on here. So that one's a lot of fun. Uh, this one is of course my standard uh, uh, grass brush that you saw me make in one of my previous videos in the how to create your own uh, Sketchbook Pro brushes uh, tutorial videos. And what's cool about that is the harder you press, like the more the more opacity it gets. So you can really get some uh, dimensionality. It starts to feel like it's got depth already. Um, and then of course the tree brush, really great for making bushes or foliage or just natural looking um, 
clusters of leaves with depth. The harder you press, again, the more contrast or more opacity it gets. And then uh, the chain brush I've updated because the old chain brush wasn't actually very useful. It just looked kind of neat in the tutorial, but this one's a little bit more functional. So you can see like, you can actually start to make little scenes with these. So not that there would be chains hanging from trees or anything, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, so this one is a watercolor brush. I've, I've used the icon, but I got rid of the old water smear um, brush because I just wasn't ever using it. And uh, it's better to sort of streamline and optimize and get rid of things that you never use than to have a bunch of clutter and stuff that you would just never use. So this one is really cool if you're laying down uh, some color and you wanna get that watercolor look. So this one is just a lot of fun. Uh, I've been using this one a lot in some of my more recent, like the Ninja Turtles painting uh, that I'm working on right now. Uh, or just finished up and a few of my other other ones. It blends really nice, it gets a good grain, and then it also does a little bit of like a texture on it too. So you can get a very soft cotton candy look. Yeah, love my pinks and purples, all right. So uh, those are all the new brushes. These are just of course your hard eraser and then your softer eraser. So you can really see, like if you wanted to fade something, block it off. And then um, if you wanted something like a harder edge, uh, you can get a harder edge erasing going on. And so I've modified these, I've tweaked these all across the board. This is everything that I use pretty much in all of my most recent paintings. And uh, so yeah, swing on over to Gumroad and, and check those out if you're interested in working with the exact brushes that I use. Uh, otherwise you can create all these on your own. I don't wanna tell you that you can't. I mean, Sketchbook Pro is super versatile and super easy. I've just taken the steps out and made it super easy for you to just uh, grab mine if you, if you wanna just jump right into painting along with me. So as promised, I wanted to do a quick little uh, sketch using some of these brushes to show you what it, you can do with it. Uh, it'll also, I really just needed something cooler for the, uh, the thumbnail than, than the, uh, the splotches and splatters. So let's, uh, let's put on some funky ass jams and uh, draw whatever the heck comes to mind. Until next time, dudes, I'll catch you all my yonder bomb. A child, baby. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah.